school as we knew it in our generations, and I'm, I'm 50, um, where you're in class, you have classwork, you have homework, and the two shall not meet. Now it's very different where a student can uh, actually do an assignment online in Google Apps and the teacher can give feedback immediately that night, even at home virtually. So now you have students and teachers talking, not just in the class, but out of the classroom. Yeah, Chromebooks have really been transformational, I think, in terms of just changing how the classrooms look and feel. You walk into a classroom now, you're not seeing rows of students, teaching in the front of the room, talking to the students. You're seeing students in groups collaborating, sharing in their learning, teachers walking around the room, working with students in groups and, and um, individually. It just changed the whole dynamic of a classroom. Google Classroom is a mean is a is a way in which two teachers organize the assignments. They're able to provide students with their assignments electronically. Students are able then to submit electronically as well. So what that's how that's transformed the classroom. It's a more organized environment. Uh, students uh, are, receive immediate feedback from teachers on the assignment as they're working on it. Some teachers use blogging, some teachers use sites for different things to distribute work. They use different extensions and plugins on their Google Chrome browser inside that's integrated into the Google Chromebook. The teachers and the students are learning something different every day because they're constantly coming up with, with new ideas and new apps that can be integrated into the classroom. It's, like, it's usually, the schools are about autopsies, a, a state test or a chapter test. Learning's done, you get the test, you yeah. get a grade. It's the autopsy. You want the physical. You want to see the learning. Yeah. That's what Chromebooks are. The Chromebooks allow them to provide instruction that's individualized to the student. So as an instructor, I find three videos all at different levels of understanding. And so within a class, I could say, here are three options for you guys. It's going to deliver the same content. And students are now accessing those videos. Well, I'm a student who's watching the higher, maybe the most the video with the strongest vocabulary and I'm not getting it, I can make a choice to go to that second video and still get the content that I need. Students are currently working on um, a shared document that they're trying to gain kind of a, an understanding as to what genocide and discrimination is because we're currently on a unit on the Holocaust. So I want students to kind of speak specifically as to what they know about it and what they don't know. Uh, you know, most content areas are using the Chromebook as a means of uh, giving students their assignments as a means of uh, having students collaborate with one another rather than working independently. They're able to collaborate on the same document in real time. So we go on the days of uh, having an assignment um, go from one person to the next or go from student to teacher feedback back to student. Everything is now done in real time. This is the, the best thing we've ever done. This is the best educational decision I've ever made.